Okay, young Tashi, this is a message for you from me who's pushing 40 <laughs> and has started a few businesses. Some have failed, some have succeeded and still ultimately failed. But I have a pretty, pretty great career now and I'm very grateful for it. So I want to give you some advice. If I could give the younger version of me advice, this is it. And in some weird world, if you can hear this, oh, that's trippy even just thinking about it. But I guess this, this could be helpful for anyone who's in their 20s and just starting or in the middle of their journey already, wondering what the older version of themselves would tell them right now. And let me start this with, I know <laughs> a thousand percent, I know a thousand percent. Hey Lenny, you want this? Here, take this and get away. Yeah. No? That I would not be listening to this advice. If I could even travel back in time and talk to myself, I wouldn't be listening. Um, but who knows? Someone might, might out there might listen to this stuff, so... And of course Lenny's right in the shot, but it is what it is. So I guess the first thing is probably it's a reassurance message. You know, I think I think everything's gonna be okay. I think as long as you're trying and you're not sitting on your ass waiting for things to happen to you, just keep doing what you're doing. Right? Because if I look at it into retrospect I should be thanking, thanking you for everything that you've done, all the mistakes you've made, all the good decisions and the bad, because I like who I am today, you know, I'm not a thousand percent <laughs> confident about everything, loops, come on, move on, but I wouldn't be who I was without all of that stuff, so no one really knows what they're doing, and as long as you just do you, and you kind of get addicted to, I guess, progress moving forward. I think that's the key thing, you know? And I guess if I had to give two pieces of practical advice to you right now, one would be check your goddamn ego, man. You were such an asshole when you were younger. <laughs> in, in, in a good way, but also a bad way. Because I feel like that certain level of ego and you're the, I guess, the main character of your story and you're the hero is kind of the mentality you need to a degree to do great things at the start, to really focus on yourself and push through, push through things, be an unstoppable force when you meet immovable objects. And again, that doesn't mean you have to be this extroverted asshole who says, look at me and dances <coughs> on tables. I don't think so. I think, you know, some of the best entrepreneurs are introverts. And I've done a short video on that if, if you're very interested, um, which seemed to have resonated with a lot of people. That was great. So check that ego. Um, and, and the best way to practically approach that rather than just try and not be an asshole is just appreciate you don't know a lot of things. And when you're sailing into uncharted territory, that is totally okay. But it also means that there's plenty of people out there with skills who are also going on these journeys that you might be able to tap into. So figure out what your gaps are and your weaknesses and plug them with people who want to go on that journey with you, whether they be like-minded co-founders or mentors or even just people that you surround yourselves with, right? Because it, it is definitely a lonely journey, like, so be prepared for that. I mean, I'm still lonely today in, in the journeys that I take, even though I've got these two crazy girls with me. I've got a, a beautiful family and very... I feel very lucky about but it still gets lonely your soul gets lonely sometimes because I, I guess it depends on what type of person you are but you're always striving for purpose to a degree right and I guess I'm here to tell you that you don't need to change the world your purpose doesn't have to be some crazy thing right it could just be it could just be your purpose is to feel fulfilled you know to be happy to take care of your family to take care of your friends and figure out a means to do that you know and sometimes a means to do that doesn't just have to be starting a business or making a crap ton of money in a career it could be of course doing things like that to let's 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 be realists 
here, like realistic to put food on the table and meat on the table or, or for you to develop yourself as a human being, but it could just be spending time with family and, and caring about the people that you do. Because as I get older, I'll tell you one thing that I've learned. You know, I, I think about family way more and it's too late for a lot of family members now for me to spend time with because I was too busy. So that's one thing I'd probably try and do, you know. And one superpower you get as you do get older though, which I know doesn't mean anything to you as you're young, is that you stop caring about what other people think. You go on this new journey where you just do things that you want to do, right? You solve problems that you want to solve. You go on missions that you want to go on. Even the clothes that I'm starting to wear is very... I don't care what people think, it's what I want to do. And it is liberating, man, I'm telling you. The sooner you can get there, and you can't force it, the, the better that you'll, you'll feel about yourself, you know. Yeah, I could probably talk about a couple of, oh, here are some technical tips that I've learned on my own journey around marketing and funding and stuff, but I don't really think that's that's necessary I want you to learn that on your own um, because everything that you've done has gotten me to where I am today and I know myself well enough to know that I learn through doing and making mistakes <sighs> yeah so just just keep what you're doing what you're doing this is a reassurance message more than anything checking out <laughs>